I'd like to call this meeting of the Templeton Advisory Committee to order for February 20th, 2020. Thank you for standing for the pledge. The Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everyone. Uh, apologize for my couple recent absences. Travel has been quite interesting. So to kick off tonight's meeting, uh, we that's will not what your wife said. She <laughs> said, you know, she yes, prob probably appreciates that. But that's a different story, which we'll talk about <laughs> off camera. <laughs> <laughs> so first item on the agenda is the approval of the meeting minutes. Make a motion to approve the uh, minutes as written. Do I have a second? Second. second. Are there any questions? And Debbie, as always, appreciate you putting these together. Very helpful. You're welcome. Okay. No mm -hmm. questions? All right, with that, uh, Bob? Yes. Amy? Yes. Deb? Yes. Will? Yes. And I abstain? Meeting minutes pass at 6.31 p.m. Next item on the agenda is the request for transfers. Adam? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the advisor, or acting chairman, members of the advisory committee. And uh, I mean, this, this transfer is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we're going to need $5,000 to complete the legal and title work associated with the um, MAP 307 or 3 07 parcel 58 on Athol Road. The $5,000 uh, is going to go into the work to get this done, and uh, we're expecting to get about $16,000 for the sale. Um, so it's it's really an investment in the, into the parcel itself. I don't. I there's an email on there. Uh, with more information I provided to the advisory committee. I have the uh, three originals right here uh, as per your policy, and that's really it. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory, and if it doesn't get approved, we can't sell the land. Um, it's not in the budget. Um, select board discussed this, and I'll turn this over to you, uh, sure. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And I apologize. Um, from a select board perspective, what was the... What was the opinion, and was it a majority? Was it unanimous? I uh, I think it was more of a consensus, if I remember correctly. Consensus. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I do have questions. Yes, please. Looking at the article <coughs> as it was written, and I'm, I just want to let you know that I'm not against this per se. I have concerns. Mm -hmm. Because the way the, the actu actual article was written and our policy, I don't want to get into slippery ground. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> I'm not either, Mr. Spring. <laughs> oh, how come? You should, you should you get a law degree. No, I did not. And it, because <laughs> it's the way it was written about the not to exceed the proceeds from the sale and then the fact that that was passed at town meeting. Mm -hmm. And then on our policy, I want to pick and end up reading the policy per se, is that so basically, let me just sum, do a summation. We can't end up uh, doing something overriding what the, what the town meeting wants. Mm -hmm. If the town meeting, said, and it, it was sold off as an equal transfer, no dollars, that's where I... I think we, I, I'm not sure if it's slippery ground or, or whatever. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not sure they're waiting, but I'm, I'm concerned about that uh, because we can't override the annual town meeting's intent because they were sold that it was, the parcels would be equitable and, you know, in, in, the, in the trade per se, and there wouldn't be any, any monies per transfer. The other thing that, and let me, if, if I can, is when I looked at this, uh, overall, uh, you're, you're re requesting 5000 mm -hmm. 
and you really need only 3000 according to that. I'm okay with giving some additional monies, but another two-thirds increase in the amount of monies per se uh, kind of, I, I think that's, that's a, a little bit more than I would like to take and end up seeing. Uh, a, a lesser amount, maybe a 30, 30%, 33% versus the 67% uh, more for the uh, for as far as contingencies to take care of the legal fees. Mm -hmm. So th those are my <laughs> two, two things, if you can address those uh, per se and give us an accounting as to why uh, 2000 was was asked for when we could have probably end up getting, I, 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 don't, I don't like to see us take money from the emergency reserve and put it into any, whether it be selectmen or anybody else, is uh, additional monies that will be sitting in an account and have the capability of being used, which is above and beyond what the town people has voted for. Mm -hmm. I, I can see transfers, emergency, uh, on budget, et cetera, to make something happen. But that's a, that's a concern that, that, I, that I see. I mean, I, too, too, too often we have done things that didn't actually meet all the letter of the law, per se. Mm. And, and, and I, don't, I don't want that perception of what's going on in town. I want to take and see that change so that when we sell something to the annual town meeting, we really follow that to the letter of the law. I, 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 I hope you understand that. I mean, I just, those are some questions that I have. No, I understand. And to your, your first question, um, this was unanticipated from the town meeting. Uh, yeah. Moving forward, we ran into these issues. Uh, per se with the parcel I mean but it's it's quite simple I mean if we don't approve this tonight we can't sell the land and the town unfortunately would lose out on on those dollars um, but with the town council we chatted with and town council will be working on get taking care of all the title work and legal work associated with clearing everything up yeah because you know we need to follow through and do it the proper way yeah um, and sometimes it costs a little bit extra and quite frankly you know I, I think it's a pretty good deal for the town um, I think it will put us in a better spot financially, and that's certainly something that we want to progress as a community collaboratively working together with the advisory committee. And that's why I shared all the information that we had on this parcel. I could say Carter was more involved with this than I was. Um, I told him I would take this tonight and present it to the advisory committee yeah. uh, because I, I know it's a, a good thing for the town. And certainly sometimes when we have so much so many town parcels um, and I'll tell you, I, I think it's whenever a municipality gets involved with being a landlord or taking care of property, I think it's a horrible thing. That's my opinion. My, my thing I cut on is, is, is the state. The state has taken some really valuable land in this community, and I, I just, it kind of rubs me the wrong way because that land up there is beautiful land when you look at it as far as the, the community. Yeah. Is, is ability to take. I mean, we are fortunate in this community to have a lot of wetlands throughout the community. That there has a lot of area which is not wetlands, and it can be used can be used for an awful lot. The EDIC would probably love to take and end up having some type of commercial or industrial on that type of land because it's just open up there. It's just it's a be it's a beautiful piece of land, and I just. I, I, I almost feel that when the state comes in to take land like that, the communities over the long term eh, don't develop as well as they should. But I also, being on conservation, mm -hmm. is that I know that the more open land you have, the more valuable the, the other land you have. You were on the Conservation Commission? Yes, I was. Yeah, I was too. I was, I was on for a number of years and chair for a number of years too. <laughs> I had to get off. So you know all those NOIs and all the other- I had to get off because I, I kept getting put on for chair and the only way I could stop getting chair, and well, but business got better too, so I mean, that's that's a side story, so. But uh, I mean, those are some <coughs> things that I, I look at and I just don't want. I know what you're saying because you got the buffer zones, you have those NOIs, you gotta follow all the regulations yep. when it comes to conservation and what, and because Templeton, we do have a lot of wet parcels, so mm -hmm. I could see where your concerns are in certain regards yep. when it comes to the overall development in Templeton. Yep. No question. Right. 
So those are some th things I bring out because of uh, past uh, in interaction with well, what, you know what, what is going on in the community over the over the years, and what I see with this particular parcel, I just don't want us to to get on that slippery slope and have people's. If if we don't discuss it, mm -hmm. somebody out there is going to be discussing it, folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going to look at this, and it's not always YouTube that they look at. I have a number of all elderly people that end up going onto the TV and they watch. They watch this, so they, they don't have a computer, right. and they don't have the ability to do that. And I, I, I get questioned quite often about, especially by one or two of them, about different things that we do and the community does. I mean, I don't always have the answers, but well, transparency is an yep. important thing, yep. and I think it's important for you to ask the, the questions and be the ultimate watchdog yep. uh, with a, in, in co collaboration with the select board. Absolutely. Do we really need the two thousand? Do we really need it? And yeah. on a safe side, I would say yes. He hasn't given you any indication as to, I mean, I thought that was a, being. <laughs> well, anytime you really get involved with something, the last thing, you know the saying, it's uh, it's better to have it than need it, then and that, that goes. But I don't want to, I don't want to pad somebody else's no, budget also. No, no, This account will be used. If I had assurance that the selectman wouldn't use it, other than what the monies that they had, it was set aside and be full of free cash. This will be for title work and legal work associated with that parcel. Do we have a written assurance? You want me to sign a document? Will, <laughs> will a selectman will a selectman go along with that? That's you know. If, go ahead. I might. It does. It does say right in the article. Just so yep. that you know, we got the delta between the two plus costs need to be closed with a transfer. So. You know, he's talking about that plus the costs. Yeah. You know, he doesn't say the cost in the article, but, you know, you, you're kind of left to assume that two, two K. And now, and I do understand your thing, the two K out of five is yeah. a big chunk. If, it, and I've, I've been around on this myself in my head. And if you turn it around and look at it, the two K that's left over is a portion of the parcel. It's closer to 15%, which is, much more palatable, yep, yep. Um, you know, as far as looking at the whole package rather than the part they're looking for for extra cash. Yep, yep. Um, that's that's the only thing I got to say on yep. the yep. issue. I, I bring this up because I want us to I, discuss it, I absolutely throw it out there. If people, if people watch this per se, we've discussed it, we've asked the questions, and, and we feel comfortable that it's, it's, it's good for the community. Mm -hmm. I mean, we represent the voters of this community, and I want to... I want to make that really clear is that if we do our job correctly, we shouldn't have, you know, any problems. No regrets. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other uh, questions or comments for Adam? All right. Uh, do I hear a motion on the transfer? I'll make the motion since I brought up all the stuff. Sure. I'll make the motion to... Uh, end up uh, the amount requests of $5,000 for the land uh, acquisition and transfers to end up uh, transfer, uh, transferring with, with the state and, and, and kind that uh, we should end up uh, approving that. Okay. And that the, uh, the vice chair has the approval that they can end up signing for the chair on the, uh, on the sheet. So we can take care of that and not, yep. I don't want to hold this up yep. per se and have, you know, per se. Great point. Okay. No. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. All right. Any other questions or comments? All right. On motion, Bob? Yes. Amy? Yes. Deb? Yes. Will? Yes. And yes. Thank you. Motion passes at 6.44 p.m. So are you leaving before the end of the meeting? Uh, yeah, I'll stay a couple more of the I just need, you, just need you to, to let me know exactly what I need to sign. Yeah, just it's you, you have to sign it. You have to put down how many let me at the bottom there's a, that just yeah. so you're aware. And I need something to sign with. Oh here. Number of, of members present voting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Transfer approved for the amount. Yep. 
the meeting date. Yep. And if we have any comments, th th see, this is for not transfer. This is for the transfer. So here, 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 uh, and then Just the signature sign. up here yep. and the date. Yep. And you'll have to do so that for all three copies okay. because uh, the requester gets it, the accountant gets it, and we keep one okay. for our excuse me our records. Okay. So I won't slow down the meeting by doing this until we get to the next um, item. So I'll do it kind of as we move along. Well, so I gave you the, the approval to take and sign that. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do it within the next five minutes just right. um, to continue things along. So the next <coughs> item on the agenda is the advisory committee budget for FY21. Uh, I was not here for the last meeting, so I'm not sure exactly what. It wasn't really discussed, per se. Okay. We got it. Tony sent it in. No. Tony's ended up sending it. I saw that, but I still wasn't quite. Again, I'll, I'll let the group here recap for me. There was no discussion on the budget, no, per se. Okay. Mm. Uh, in fact, when you look at the original budget document, what was carried over was the exact same amount yep. uh, from last year to this year's budget. And I take it this is, maybe I'm wrong, this is uh, a way, f I guess he, Tony m might have talked to the administrator mm -hmm. about the, the budget per se and has some discussion. He talked to me about it, yeah. Oh, he did. He, he did yeah, because he, uh, there was a slight increase in your uh, reserve fund. Right, and and I, I, and we did have we have had conversations about the reserve fund and raising it, uh, 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 some additional monies because we see the need going forward. If you look at other communities, they have a much larger reserve. We're not looking to go over the five percent. That's it, it, we're by. By, by law where we are. Yeah. I do have some concerns about the different amounts, and here's my concerns. Unfortunately, or fortunately, and I do want to take it end up having a, the membership, if we look at the BVA uh, that was just given to us in January, it shows that we have significant amount of monies in different areas that we are not using, per se. And I mean, we we have barely used some of it. And my concern is that uh, I know that we've had set some m monies aside to go to the, to the uh, uh, association annual town meeting, and, and we didn't have any members go. Yep. Do we want to take an end up? I mean, I, I want to take a look at it All from, right. from yep. the town's perspective about are we real, do we really need that amount of money? if we're not gonna have members go. And if we can end up setting the, setting the example in a budget that we look even look at our own budget and make, if we haven't spent it, we should cut back on it to yep. take and end up setting that example for the rest of the departments and the request. And that's kind of where I'm at per se. Mm -hmm. I know that there's certain amounts in here that have to be done, uh, such as dues, I mean, the dues may end up going above and beyond that, right? Uh, because it's based upon population, and and I think the population of the community might have gone up at least uh, per se. So that's I'm, I'm bringing those up. Yeah. I'd like to take it end up seeing some of that money if we don't spend it for those accounts go into uh, emergency reserve. Sure. <coughs> I mean, what's your thoughts, Adam? You're, you're, I know you've been dealing with some of the budgets uh, as far as uh, right setting up. Right now, we're actually, we went through, uh, we started off in the budget with about $130,000 deficit, $131,000. Uh, then with the, earlier this week, we got to about 31000 and now we're finally in a surplus. Um, we've made some changes in some of the accounts to um, the lump sum disallowed and worked with some of the numbers. Uh, so everything seems pretty good on our end so far. But then again, you have the schools, that's a factor, and we'll see the other variables at play. But right now, we use the escalator 2.5% for the Monty Tech and the NRSD. <coughs> um, and we have, a, we have a balanced budget uh, if they stay at 2.5%. Right. Yeah. 
so, so we don't have, you're saying we, ha we, we didn't have enough money, we took some cuts back and we have, uh, we balanced the budget or would you have a, a surplus that can, if the school asks for more, we could end up? Yeah, I mean, we were fortunate this year where we got the insurance numbers for the health insurance yeah. earlier. Yeah. So instead of budgeting at 6%, we were able to budget at the 5% or a little bit in that range, 4.75 to 5% with the lump sum disallowed. And that saved us some some monies there. Um, That's probably significant monies too. Yeah. Right? So, um, you know, it's still from last fiscal year. Don't don't remember that you know we still cut forty two five from the insurance and benefits. So if you go from the number that was cut from that insurance and benefits to now in the budget, you're talking still about an eighty thousand dollar increase because you got to remember the Worcester the the retirement is going up with that chart that you saw last fiscal year in the budget. Mm -hmm. So we also have to budget for that as well. Uh, but we, we've been fortunate this year uh, so far. Good. Mr. Chairman, do you want to go through this individually or getting some suggestions? Or? I'll, I'll leave it to the, uh, the committee. Again, I, I wasn't sure exactly what the, uh, what the overall goal of this was. So <coughs> what do uh, anybody have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that we have a quantity of, of 70 going to the association annual final uh, town meeting. If we make some ad adjustments there, as well as uh, going to the regional meetings, yep. uh, we have seven there, is to end up cutting that back to uh, uh, maybe half the half the uh, membership. Right. Probably. Yeah. Make, I mean, I'm, I'm throwing that out. I, yeah, I, no, I mean, it makes sense, especially since... I went and didn't ask for reimbursement. Yeah, I did that the other year too. Right. The, the year before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think all of our heads are there. Yeah. Um, it's just not like we do need to make the paper match yes. what we're actually practicing. Yeah, we're, we're Is that the majority of us, if we can, we'll try and yeah. go and because save Because if the you town. look at the BBA, yeah. when you end up having like a, a, a real low percentage, like l under ten percent at this time of the year right. you know, for that, and you know you're not going to have an annual, you're not going to have uh, uh, meetings that you're going to be going to per se right. the annual meeting, and that and that's more more significant. Right. It, it we just want to watch the dues and make sure there's enough money for the dues. Yes. Because we dues, can't control that. No, we could we, have you know fewer right. people go to an annual meeting, but we can't control what we're assessed for dues. Mm -hmm. Right. I think a conversation about a spend plan would be a. Uh, and did anybody right go to the uh, MMA annual meeting? Can't do that when Tony's not here. <laughs> Can't have any spend plan talk without Tony. Hey, I'm, I'm taking his place tonight. It is what it is. So. Did sorry, any, sorry, Melissa. Did anybody go to the annual uh, MMA meeting no. per se? No. no. Do we want to have four there? Do we cut that down in half and have two people? That's a significant amount of money. I would, I would like to make a comment just as a thought on this process because yeah. um, I know that's what we did this past year is it would s still kind of seem to me and I, I know there's multiple ways looking at it but I think the way we that's the budgets presently done I think it would be advantageous for us to put in what we could use and allow that to be cut back um you know like this year you know we have that's extra money that we can cut back if we run into an issue like with the school or with the the you know police department or the fire department or whatever so it, it's not spent money until we go right. um right yep. you know so it, i think we have to think about that before we start just you know cutting because then we're, we're doing our budget which I, I understand yeah. the the mentality around it totally yeah. but I think it really needs to be a package you know all kind of done under the same umbrella with the same thinking going on otherwise you know we're doing pre-cuts and then they're looking for cuts and they're looking at us and trying to cut and we're already at the bottom and uh, you know so then well that's, yeah. that's, that's a that's a philosophy I, 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 I see what you're saying because if we give it now and we, uh, it, and unfortunately, the it'll be looked upon by those folks that are outside of outside of government. And we know who we're talking about. 
they will probably end up saying, oh, they, they have some extra money there, versus if we do it now and we have to make cuts, do we give it now or later, basically? Right. Mm -hmm. I, hear you, I hear your point. Do we cut it out of the budget or do we ask for it in an override? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, 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 Good point. Good yeah. point. Yeah. It's just a point, and I just, you know, the way we presently do things, it's just, um, you know, I, I think it's something we have to think about. Yeah. I'd like to take a seat because, uh, especially for the uh, advertisements, I think we're going to end up having to put more monies in there, probably cut back on on the uh, employee support and put it in the, into the services, but it still comes out the same because I envision that Absolutely. it's going to be more costly to end up advertising for the annual town or special town meetings and if we have if we go into a situation we have like we did multiple yeah m one year we had three pre towns uh we had yeah we had more than that mm -hmm. we ran into a, a problem and I, yeah you were on the, when we ran into that problem we had we had to, the advisory committee because of the amount of special town meetings and the annual town meeting had to request money from the emergency reserve because we didn't have enough money. Mm -hmm. We could we didn't anticipate that many special town meetings. Yeah. Right. So it, it's probably better to have it there than maybe uh, under the employee support. Yeah. So we cut say we cut back by $195 in employee support and put it into uh, purchase of services and that will take care of maybe a right. a, a, a couple of couple of additional uh, meetings per se I mean those are my thoughts I concur with that yeah that makes sense otherwise I'm sort of with Bob I guess and maybe leave it like this and then when cuts do happen yep then we'll we'll know exactly where to go yeah yep for our $200 contribution to the <laughs> thousands of dollars <laughs> for our change uh. Right. That's well, all right. We'll give it. If the town yeah. needs it. They can have it. The, the, the MMA is 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 a is a really big big expense. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just something to consider if we're down the road. I'm. I think I'm more on the mind with Bob on that. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't. I don't disagree. Yeah. I, I wanted us to take a end up dis discussing that. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other uh, conversation? On you that? want to take an end up changing that now, Mr. 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 Vice Chair? That's uh, that's the question that I have. Employee mm -hmm. support and, and move it to. Uh, and move that, say, uh, $195 from one account to the other? So my only question with that is... How to do it? Yeah. Well, no. Well, there's... It, it's more there's five of us here tonight. Yeah. Um, I would like to get Tony and Faith's opinion on it. Does, it. does it impact us if we do it two weeks from now versus tonight? You need it soon, Adam? He said that they need it soon. Yeah. Budget's being done Wednesday. Oh, no. so we should probably <laughs> take a vote. Well, why didn't you say it up front? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's sitting there all like hands folded. Right. 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 He's, right. 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 so right. he's being kind to us here. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, yes. Yeah, so time being of the essence then, it certainly makes sense for us to uh, to move on that. So what would be the proper procedure? Is it a motion to be made to move that? or? Yeah, we should make the motion to yeah. end up. Uh, cutting uh, one one account and then uh, uh, increasing the other account. Okay. Would you like to make the motion? Okay. Let me let me just. Sure. I want to take and make sure. Yep. Please. Uh, it, I, I, because it's it's two different account numbers, and right. we got it separated. It won't make much difference because it's up to us how we spend it per se. Sure. I'll make a motion to end up uh, reducing account number one thousand one thirty. 510 by 195 dollars and increasing account number 1,130 5, 5,200 by the 195. Do I have a second? Second, okay. All right. Any other conversation questions about that? Okay. No, I'm sure we can get that to Tony so he can update the spreadsheet, right, Deb? Mm -hmm. Excellent. On the motion, Bob? Yes. Amy? Yes. Deb? Yes. Will? Yes. And yes. That makes sense, I hope. 
I, I yeah, think no, it, it does, did. yeah. So motion passes at 7 p.m. And sign. Good thought on that, Will. Pardon me? Make sure I didn't Good mess anything up on that, please. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we need to look at that. I mean, it's. I've always said it's better that we have a discussion, no matter what the outcome is, than to have no discussion and just let it go. People see that we we put it out there and looked at it. You can actually put the boat down there. Uh, Thanks, Luke. Thank you. All right, excellent. Uh, next up on the agenda is the BES RFP Evaluation Committee. Do you want me to speak on that or, or Mr. May? I was going to say, I'll just say that I, I volunteered. I, I, I sent in a letter to Carter and Adam uh, volunteering the position to take all the pressure off you folks. I just figured, you know. We greatly appreciate that. Right. I, that's what I figured, you know, because I, I, I didn't want to not show up and be nominated, you know. <laughs> um, and it's, it's, by the way, it's more appropriate for us to end up voting you in, per se, than have someone outside just because you volunteered. You, you volunteered to the committee, but that's it's up to the committee. I mean, somebody else, our, our missing chairman, could still say, I still want to be on it. This is true. Um, and he still can. And I, you know, <laughs> fine. I just volunteered. I didn't demand. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll make but, a, since Bob volunteered, I'll make the motion to end up uh, having him uh, be uh, the, uh, the advisory committee. Uh, member on the uh, BES RFP Evaluation Committee. I'll second that. All right, we have a motion and a second. Any other questions? Do you want to make a statement? No, I think Bob covered it. Okay. <laughs> Handle. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see how this vote goes then. Uh, on the motion, <laughs> Bob. Hey, I'm going to vote yes. <laughs> Amy. Yes. Deb. Yes. Will. Can I think about it? Yeah, please. <laughs> no. no, you can't. You can abstain or you can vote. <laughs> yes. And yes. Motion thank passes at 7.03 p.m. Congratulations. No, honestly, thank you for doing that, though. It's it's yeah. very important, and yeah, yeah, being able to give your time to that is yeah. much, much appreciated. Yeah. I mean, you don't have conflict with the uh, uh, capital, do you? You're all done with that, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's yep. That was that was my concern. I didn't yeah. mention it, but earlier. But yeah. I figured if you if you volunteered, you were willing to take on uh, two jobs, and that's yeah. I just you know, you know I think this is a, a important thing in multiple levels for the town. I just so. hope that, no. and I've made it known previous meetings, what I thought of, that we should look at also is senior housing because of the lack of senior housing in this area is just. You can't imagine how bad it is in the wait times, no matter where you go in Gardner and here. I'd like to at least see us, because you can get CPC money for that. I know that. I know that you can get CPC money. Did you, I, I don't know if you saw the planning board meeting, but there's uh, the proposed community down uh, off Ballinsville Road, I think is a 55 and over yes. community. Yeah. So, yeah. and it, it, I, I looked, I just saw a brief, layout of the plan it looks like there's a number of units so i mean you know it will help but you know if they yeah, can it's afford the, it it's the affordable right it's a, it's it's it's, it's yeah. affordability because i like i mentioned if you look at athol they changed their high school to senior to, to, to senior living it's a, basically it's, it's all seniors in there yeah. and we don't have enough uh, of, of that type of, of housing for our, our own seniors yeah. and with the crunch for uh, increase in the uh, in the amount of real estate taxes that uh, are foreseen here, uh, some of those folks are going to be squeezed mm -hmm. out of their homes, and they, they, if they want to remain in the community, I really, 
I mean, they built it, this community. I, I just, I feel very strongly about those folks that have, mm -hmm. that have been there all their, most of their lives or all their lives, and and to take it end up not to push them out of the community that they've born. Some of them born and and, and, and lived here their entire life. Yeah, I know a number of them. We're trying to get with CPC to get the first step to get a uh, affordable housing trust started. Yes, Kind of did mention put that. CPC money into there. Yep. Uh, it was talked about, and, and John Henshaw says, you know, hey, we need kind of a formal thing, and then this, it's CPC money, and it's there, but, yep. you know, it's the government, so you got to fill out. Ab absolutely. Because absolutely. that's an extra uh, fee, so to speak, on your taxes. That town voted, I think, in 2007 to add that 3%. We got in on the early pile of that, so yep. we get... Yep. Plus, we get uh, two more rounds of uh, funding grant possibilities because we got in early and we voted. Yeah, excellent. The That's 3%. right. Yep. Yep. After the first hundred thousand, we're we're, so we're it's, one it's of a the step we're trying to we're trying to get going. Yeah. We're one of the few communities that still have the three percent because of the uh, income and the uh, uh, and the population of them. Right, and we got in early, and yep. now there's more communities coming. And so the, the, the tr you know the pool of monies the, the pool. Being divided by more communities. Yep. So the three percenters are, are rare because and the match kind of dropped. But we're still in those extra two rounds of grant yep. money because we did we were one of the first towns to yep. do yep. it. And a lot of the larger communities that didn't get into it have foreseen that this is extra money for them to do stuff. This is an excellent example of a building that they may want to take in rehab or something. There's, there's communities that have taken and rehab their town hall with the monies. Mm -hmm. and, and, but a lot of communities don't have the 3% or don't get in those right. extra rounds because yeah. That's correct. it's evolved. So all of a sudden, these towns, like you said, they started seeing, wow, it's a pile of money, a funding source for different things. And they're jumping in, and the pile of money is this big, and now it's got to get divided by yeah. Now it's a hundred, so. yep. but we it is something that's on the radar and trying to get going. Yep, excellent. Thank you. That's good. Yes, please. Yeah, I uh, just wanted to point out along the lines of what Jeff was talking about. That I read it earlier today in the uh, weekly report. It states right here: received notice from CPC approved <laughs> funding for the exploration and creation of a housing trust. So, you know, it, it's nice that. Everybody's finally on the same, yeah. the same page right. and moving towards getting it accomplished. Right. The, 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 this, this, the, when it first started out, in the, even in this community, CPC was not, not necessarily something that took off until we got monies for this building, and then the, 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 there was foresight into taking end up seeing that, hey, listen, we can end up helping monies into our own stuff that we have mm -hmm. because be, you know and to, to help out to help out the community and not necessarily i mean some of it was used for open space but you you can only do so much of that per se and when you have other needs you have to prioritize that and there was a lot of other priorities mm -hmm. i mean i don't like to take an end up saying let's not have open space but we have other priorities that we should be looking at and spending some of that money i mean we all get it's all on your tax bill it's on your tax bill. You don't see it per se, or most people don't even don't even realize that it's on uh, it's on the bill. Yeah. yeah, and this is a great example. Yes. Yeah. You know, as cool. as several of us know, you know, sixth grade classroom, and now, you know, for all the committees and <laughs> PCTV, it's it's fantastic. Exactly and right. That's that's a great reuse of something like this. So. And before you know, we'll have ADA compliant door in the front. That'll be fantastic. <laughs> well, no, that's. That's it was important. approved. That that's means absolutely important. important. Yeah. And that's by the way, I got I some of my elderly statesmen that have been in this community for quite a while and also have been in government have chewed my ear about that. And I keep telling them, I can, you you got the wrong person. Select I mean, the Bennett's on it, so we're we we originally when when this building really went originally for CPC funding, that was one of the projects. And it was a double door with with openers. Yep. Why it changed that way, 
you'll have to take it and speak to the administration that took that over that yeah. they can end up putting the windows and everything else in. Yeah. No, that, that'll be a great improvement. I, I have the paperwork, and I, I just remember it, but I have paperwork that shows that that was the proposal and that was funding and everything. Uh, if there is money sitting there, it's like nine grand yeah. to fix that. Yep. And uh, I've been pushing really hard. I'm paying in the butt on that. Um, yeah, because we could have got it for a lot less money when we first did the building issue. You, 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 got the, you got the whole... Plus, you're redoing something that... So you're paying twice. Because yeah. you did it. Yep. You, you get cheap, and you pay twice. Yeah, exactly right. But it's... Uh, I pushed it hard to get that. One, the money is sitting there. It's, it's not over nine grand sitting there. Why let it sit there? Yep. Do it. Yep. Because the longer it sits there, the more expensive it gets. To Absolutely. Do. Absolutely. We know that. So, and we're paying twice and, to do and it. And the fact that you... Can, how can you get it done when, when you have an economy where you have vendors that you have a hard time getting to come in to do the work? Well, and also, we're also cognizant of the fact of the OSHA requirements now that municipalities sure. are faced. So, I mean, as you see with just the door handles alone, all these little improvements, we're, we're slowly, yeah. gradually getting us up to code. Excellent. By the way, those are, those are all things that were talked about when we did we really did the building. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's funny how government is slow to react a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly but surely, right? Yes. Yeah, well. <laughs> All right. So moving along, next item on the agenda is bylaw changes. So I think I'm all set. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you have you. a safe drive? I will. It's not sleeting outside, so. No. It's still a long drive. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So well, thank you for your time and thank you. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah. You will have uh, the budget meeting. We'll you, your wife's not going to get on my case about that. I gave you too much of a hard time, is she? <laughs> no. no. She knows it's budget season. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bylaw changes. Uh, who wants to open this conversation? The reason I put it on is number one, you cannot do something on an email. We have never, uh, because of the more recent changes, mm -hmm. we have not had an official vote, per se, on the committee level. Yep. And to take it and end up doing it by email, you, you just can't, you can't do that. You can't do that because we'll take criticism for that. Mm -hmm. If it's done in, in, in a public meeting, per se, and we, we kicked it and everything else, we're, we're, we're a lot better off. Because I, I noticed from, uh, I didn't go way back to the one that we did over a year ago. Uh, I did look at. That was over a year ago, yeah. Yeah. D there were some things that I, I still, even now on this, this new one, I, I feel uncomfortable, but it's. But it's I think this one that we're looking at, the latest version, yep. has been preliminarily seen by town council, no? Uh, no, yeah, he has he has inputted because I look back at yeah I look at back at his okay yeah and then I looked at the the one that uh, was originally that I, I guess this was an updated version that uh, uh, Tony had and this was back let me actually see yeah. this was back uh, in early February he had he had brought that up. Yep. That, he had presented it and then he got off a of town council. Yeah. And then he brought this latest one up because uh, <coughs> we had discussed it and it really came out to be, okay, let's take and look at what town council said and try to take and end up incorporating some of the suggestions that he, ha he had versus what we had and some of the wording. And then when, when you start, even if it's one word, we really need to take an end up as as a committee to take an end up voting, even if it's if it's a couple words. And that's kinda that's kinda the thing that I, I that pushed on Tony and said, Hey, bring it as an agenda, let's let's look at it, let's discuss it. But I uh, think we need to do this today if it's gonna make this. Oh absolutely current absolutely. Warrant. I'm not I'm not against uh, t uh, you know, going through it today and discussing it. I did have I, I did I, I, one thing I didn't understand is that there was one section where it actually said about appointment uh, of liaisons. Did anybody read that and remember reading that? That was, 
You don't have a section, Will? Um, it's uh, Committee Liaisons 9-7, I believe. Seven. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. And I went, oh, well, we, we really don't have to put, I mean, can, <coughs> can we put that in? Well, yeah, but do we, do we really need to take it into putting that in, per se? Because every advisory committee does that anyway. You appoint liaisons to committees. Uh, you can actually create a subcommittee within us of a couple of members that they can th to look at a certain subject or whatever. We have we have the, that ability that they can break that out and, and appoint liaisons. We uh, a number of years ago we had liaisons for um, especially around budget time to go to to to, to like go to the, the sewage department, talk with them when they were talking budget talks, bring back back their their uh, their budget, and, and this was that worked out well. I mean we had a, more than one person went over there. I mean. Over a period of a couple of years, we had different people mm -hmm. that went over, and uh, uh, that we had liaisons go to uh, di di uh, different uh, boards, etc. Et actually, talk to to some of the department heads. I guess I don't see any real problem with having it, though, for clarity's sake. I mean, this is for the bylaws, and I think the whole reason that we started this was to be crystal clear on what we do and what we are allowed to do. It doesn't matter that there's a state bylaw somewhere that talks about that. I think it doesn't matter if we restate it here. I, I would agree with that. Make, it doesn't hurt to make it explicit. It might be redundant, yep. right. but yeah, I, I don't think it hurts leaving it in there. Which section did you say that was? I can't, I, nine, nine, seven. It's the nine, nine, seven. End. Very, very bottom. Yeah. And I think it's honestly was there just probably to conform oh, to okay. something similar in the uh, yeah. BOS. Okay, because that was in that was yeah. that was actually in, in another section in one of the other documents, believe it or not. Right, and I think that's partially what's happening here too, is everything advisory is gonna be in this section nine. Oh no no, I'm not saying it's it wasn't in section nine. I'm saying uh, in one, some of the iterations, it was in a, in, instead of being nine seven, it was incorporated some, right. somewhere else in, in the wording per se. So that could be a suggestion from council as well to break see, it out like that. The, I can't the imagine. The piece that I'm looking at is the merge document from Holly. Yes. Yep. So just yep. so you know, that's the one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's, that's what we're all looking at. Yeah, that's the one I'm. I'm yeah. yeah, I just wanted to make sure that right. you know the same. Because that's why I said <laughs> we've had discussions prior to this. Yes. And now we have this latest Any? one. Which is totally different from, in, in a lot of ways, from the ones that we've seen previously. From what we did a year ago, plus the one that, that was uh, done in February uh, and given to town council. I don't. I don't see that many. I don't see that it's that different. Well, well there's a lot of words. There's a, there's a lot of crosses out and word things if you look at it. Though. I think it's because it's overlaid with. The official well, I'm not, bylaw. Di I'm not like, disagreeing. I'm just saying yeah, there was but, changes. Right, but oh, the yeah. cross out is to reflect how the article will look on the warrant. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, when you have cross out, like in the simple uh, section one, where we had advisory committee and they just crossed it out and said committee members, that's a change. And that's a change that we should be aware of. Yeah. That, right. That we're, what, that we're presenting that as such. Yeah, it is. My, my understanding, though, going back to last year, when the work was done, all the bylaws is that there was part of it was an attempt to create a, a common format, a common syntax. So whereas you know lopping off the word advisory, you know several times into using yeah. it, but they did I, I think they do that with with if you re read through the rest of the bylaws, I think yeah. they did the same thing. When they did codification, they really didn't change the existing bylaws. No, 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 no. no. Per se. But they, they just they just n renumbered it. Versus the way it was numbered previously, and, and try to get the the language, uh, the linguistics. Yeah, because there was be some similar. nuances changed in yeah. that in the codification. Yeah, updated. Yeah, streamlined. It had mm -hmm. been written by so many different people. I think just to make it over so much time sound like yeah. you know maybe only a handful of people instead of yep. three hundred. <laughs> yeah, and, and reading through this, you're, you're absolutely correct that there's definitely been significant strike throughs, but I don't think that the um, the heart of what 
trying to get yeah. to has been changed. My legalese is not fantastic, but reading through it, I, I don't see anything that, that there's really only, sticks there's out There's only two me. things that I, I, I will really comment on, is that the moderator giving 30 days uh, in the past, like I mentioned in other, uh, other meetings, past experience has shown that uh, we've gone to him or, or her, in this case it's been hims, and not got anything and we've had to take it end up working as a committee to do that. Yep. So they can put that onto that individual, whoever it is, uh, may not, he, uh, he focuses on the meetings and his appointment initially and doesn't pay attention. He doesn't compile lists per se uh, of people that are interested. And that's, that's been the problem and we've had to take it and end up supplementing that. Uh, and it, we've always gone to that individual, whoever it is, First, first whack at it, and then gone, gone to take and see if anybody has any interest, yep. and then have to. We've had to beat the bushes. For, uh, for every every year we've been on, we've had to take and do that. So I, I mean, I think that was, that's how you get on because uh, our past chairman mm -hmm. ended up knowing that, uh, knowing you, and he said, "Hey, you want to get on? Mm -hmm. You you applied and you did it through the process, and that that's we had something to take and end up going by." But he, he had beat the, beat the bushes. The other thing that I, I, I see changed and I feel a little uncomfortable because we had gone, and this is uh, under section 9.4, yep. about the number of days, not less than 30 days. We had 35 days. So I would have liked to still, still seen that uh, at 35 days. Yeah, so last year, with respect to the first item, that was sort of um, our, our attempt to, you know, cooperate with the town and give the moderator the ability to oh, yeah, fill I, that I position. I, Lee, I don't, I don't disagree. We had that discussion, and I, sure. I yep. see that. And if I have to take and make a compromise on that, per se, yep. and listen to the, my other members... I, I, I agree that after 30 days, yeah. it would still fall on us to take yeah. and end up going back. But sure. I, it just, it initially, per se, because of the experience I've had past years yeah. being on here, it, 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 has, it has not always worked out yeah. that we pushed it on to him and not got anywhere. Well, the, the other thing that it does not do, though, is it does not negate our ability as a committee during that 30-day period to find someone. Right put them up in front of the moderator. Yeah. So yeah. it's not, it's really, it's not taking away any of our capabilities per se. Yeah. It's more of. Oh, I'm not disagreeing with. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got it, but I'm just saying, I just feel uncomfortable about it, but I, I also see what, what you, what's brought, being brought up. Yeah. Bob? Mr. Chairman, um, yes. <laughs> the only, and, and, and I, I'm, I remember the conversation and, the 30 days, and I agree with both what everybody said here that, you know, it kind of all works. The one issue that I do have with that process is the process. <laughs> How do I say it? Um, because at town meeting, um, if I have an interest in a uh, committee, I go up and I hand it to the moderator. That's the process. Uh -huh. But after the town meeting, the instructions on the committee interest form say send it to the board of selectmen. Yep. So how did the two meet? Because we don't have communication in Templeton. Right. So that's so see it's not really an advisory problem. Right, right, right. But that's my issue with the process as it's sitting is it right. it doesn't seem to fly. So Cause, which. Because it'll just past. allow us to pick the person at 31 days. Away. That's why I said uh, the, the past experience has been to go to a moderator, and then if he doesn't come up with anything within a reasonable time, like a week or two, we, we end up going to the selectmen to see if they receive any interest forms, per se. It, 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 didn't, it didn't always flow from them to the moderator. So in some instances, we were the first ones asking for it. it. It seems like what we've done here then, Will, if you, just what you just said, is we've extended that week to 30 days. That, you know, you gave the moderator, you guys used to give the moderator the week or two weeks. 
we've just kind of extended it to 30 days here, um, you know, as a grace period or fixed period rather than a random, you know, we'll give you some time. Yep. Um, we just put a number oh, I'm, I'm not, that's, I, not I, the, that's not the 30 days I'm talking about, uh, Bob. Oh. Uh, I, the next section down is about the warrant. Oh, yeah, no, but I was I was back on oh, his. Okay. He got, went got. back to the first point, and I just followed up on okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. There was confusion. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if we, let, let's say, so that, that being the process, let's say we know somebody who's interested. And, and let's say I know somebody who's interested. I send them in that direction, but I can still kind of make those pokes and prods along to try and communicate and get that person on, right? Like, Absolutely. So that is within the 30 days. So it's maybe not perfect, but. Yeah, there's nothing that prevents anyone who knows somebody who might want to be interested. Right. Well, the, I think. From trying to get them on. Yeah. I think the process that, that, that when you get on, it, it, uh, Mike did end up saying that he has somebody interested mm -hmm. and that you they were filing the, the thing. So I mean that was a that was a follow up for us that they can end up going get that documentation. Right, because he told me like yeah. what to like he was yeah. telling me exactly. Well, what we I had this. To do we had this. When he brought it up, we had a discussion okay. just to make sure that that was yeah. filled out so that, that we weren't just come you weren't just coming in here and just sitting. Right. I, th I think the entire purpose of this all started out. This this part of it right here was all all started out to get away from a group thing. You know, so that we're we're looking for similar people to us to you know to get on you know okay. trying to be impartial, yeah, right, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, and you know, I, I think that's you know a good thing. And we and we actually we really never did that because in all the experience uh, that I've had on here, there was times when we the people that we ended up going to seek, believe it or not, had sh had end up having some type of uh, a level of input that we saw generally, okay, on social media and said, that person is interested in government. I wonder if he would be interested in, and they, they would talk about finances, if they were interested in getting in onto this community. And we chased, that's how we chased some people down. It wasn't like, I got a friend and I'm gonna take and chase that person down. That's, yep. to the best of my knowledge, that's never happened. Yeah, yep. got it. So then with respect to the second item. Yep. That was um, 9.4. 9 yeah. And I know that that was also a discussion that we had. Um, and we, I believe we had Carter in, right? And yeah. Anna, yeah, and went through what, what's feasible, what's not feasible. And again, just trying to compromise. Is this the most ideal for us? Not necessarily. Is it the most ideal for the town? Not necessarily. But as far as the compromise goes, um, I think we settled that this was a decent compromise for us. But I remember working through the whole possible calendar layouts with weekends falling in and yep. non-business days, potential holidays, and every workable scenario. And in every scenario, 30 days works better than 35 for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I feel like it's fair and logical. Why do I bring it up? Because if you look at the the one that was given uh, to the uh, to town council, if you look on it, and let me see what section it, it's under. I think it's, it was, and I just, damn it, I just saw it too on here. <laughs> and I, I, didn't, I didn't put my finger right on it, but it did say, it did say 35 days on here. Yes, it right there, the warrant. 35 days before the, it was actually, it, it's actually in uh, section, section four of what we had gone through uh, a year ago and we had set it for 35 days. Okay. That's why I'm. And now uh, it's changed. Now it's changed. On this document. Yes. That's, and we had gone through that whole scenario. Yeah. And that's what, I, I don't want to take and see us put a lot of work into days, that. Yeah. Thoughts? Do we think it's an error? Do we think it's a typo error? I I don't know. I mean, I, I see it in this document here that we did a year ago and th that was submitted to, the, to them and, and it was it says 35 days and now I see 30 days. It's just. Did we get an earlier version of this from Tony? Uh, yes, and that's the one I, I said. Right, but do like I mean, did we get one before he sent it to Holly? 
Oh, yes, on February 3rd. That's the one when he ended up giving us a copy of what he submitted and what the uh, okay and, and what the town council gave back to us. Did you want to, I have a copy it's of it. It's 30 days here mm -hmm. in this one. It's 30 days in that latest version before it went to Holly. Yeah, I see that. I, yeah. I oh, understand. Okay. Yeah. But I think, I think we changed it to 30. I don't recall us changing it to 30. That's, that's what he, that's what he, that's what we had voted for at that time. And that's what we, he submitted to the uh, town council. And got the town council feedback. And I, I, I don't see town yeah. council on town council's version, it does not state. It actually, it actually ends up on his, it, it changed. The date was changed and also the the number of days was changed uh, by town council. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, because he changed it, because we had April 8th, he changed it to April 10th, and then not less than, we had 35 days, he crossed out the five and put uh, zero and underscored it on the, on the copy that I'm looking at. Okay, well, I feel like, I feel like made, we can't argue with that. Because he, he made he made two changes, the actual date from the 8th to the 10th, mm -hmm. and then the number of days. And we had the long discussion on this because, yeah. because the April date was changed a number of years ago by the uh, request, uh, I believe, by the selectmen to extend it because... If you go back further on bylaws, it was actually a March. 26th? Yeah, 20-something. 20, 20 yeah, you, you remember that, too. Uh, it was a March date. And, and the school, by law, has the March 31st. Right. So it was to give more time to get stuff together in yeah. the state budget and all that stuff. So they pushed it to the 10th to give more time to have the information together so when the advisory did yeah. get their stuff. But yeah, I think it was March 26th, something. Yeah, it was in the 20s. But they, they pushed it. And that was done years ago. Uh, yeah. And that's, believe it or not, that's when the school budgets were done more timely. Earlier. But by law, they had to like the 30 Right, years. right. And the state... You know, for for some reason, for some reason, the school over the years they started going by the law and pushed it. Yeah, they kept they they kept they, taking leave of what the law said <laughs> versus what the bylaw said, and that got us into late budgets per se. Yeah, like and, I said, we were getting the warrant yep. with the budget, and the school hadn't yep. sent theirs yet, so they moved it. So I bring those two up and, and, and see what folks thought about. I mean, do we still want to take and end up having the 8th and not less than 35 days? Or do we go with this change? I prefer to take and end up seeing this. Uh, it could go back to the 8th and also the 35 days. But that's just my feelings. Mm -hmm. We don't have much time from when we do this, okay, when we get that warrant sure. to when we actually have to have a pre-town meeting. If you look at this here, and I'm, and, and I'm not pushing back because we could end up making our, uh, our uh, assessments and putting out the thing two days before an annual town meeting, uh, per se. This, this gives us... Uh, they are put, actually putting it out uh, some additional days. I think it's uh, five days before, if I look at this. 
and it has to be four, di four days before, uh, oh, at least four days before the, the meeting is set, yeah. I think that's what it says right here, let me see. Five days between the annual and, and four days before. Session. Right, five days before the, 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 the date set for the annual and four days before. I mean, uh -huh. it, it used to be just two days before right. the meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, what that does is by giving it more time for us to put it out, it squeezes the amount of time that we have from this April or 30 day period. And I think that's how we, we looked at it and said, hey, we maybe, maybe we get the extra five days there so that when we can we can comply with that for five days, and we still have and we still have the thirty days for us to look at it. That I was going to say that conversation to me does ring true. That I've heard that conversation or that discussion before. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't part of this process. I was not on the advisory during this year that you guys went through this whole yeah. thing. I was before and after. Yeah. Um, and, but I have, you know, seen the changes, but these are, you know, different um, reiterations than I've seen in the past. Right. Um, this final, uh, you know, condensation here. It's not um, so much I have a problem with them getting it earlier, but it, it now squeezes the amount of time that we have to end up doing some investigation on the warrant and everything else. And w I think we really need a full 30 days to do that, per se, and do it effectively. I mean, that's my thoughts. So if we disagree with what's in here. We can make the changes. What is, but they don't have to adopt any changes that we offer, right? Right. Well, Would yeah, they be more likely to take these changes because they've already been preliminarily through council? So it would really be it would really be more of a voice objection. Wouldn't we be sending it back to the start? No, I think we would, if we change that, uh, town council is is vetted most of this. It's gonna, that, that's a minor change per se. Right, but he's already changed it. Or the council, yeah. I I don't mean to imply it's a man. Yeah. That person's already changed it, um, and now we're gonna kick it back and be like, no. What if there, there's probably a valid reason for that change? Well, that's the thing we don't know. I mean, that's right. Um, you know, and, and um, I would just, and, and I'm just spitballing here, so please, you know, reel me in if I'm out there. But I, I'm thinking if we did change it yep. and it was a legal reason, the AG would kick it back. Exactly. Um, if it's not a legal reason, and then, then why did it change? Yep. You know? That's that's my thinking here from very little front communication on it. So I, I you, you know. You, you got to remember too that this is our inputs for the warrant, and we're presenting these. And they, yes, they have been looked at by town council. Town council yeah. doesn't necessarily he's, he doesn't represent us per se. He represents selectmen, uh, and if if the selectmen wish to take it end up making it less, they could have put that in there. And had him put less, but I mean, we should present it as our. I mean, I agree with the, uh, m most of it after the, having a discussion and looking at this. But those particular points, if we if we make those changes, and it goes, it's allowed to go before annual town meeting, and annual town meeting passes it. Like Bob is right. If for a legal reason, the AG has a problem, it'll change. <coughs> if he doesn't. Annual town meeting voted those particular days and that length of time, it'll pass. And that, that's your bylaw. Yep, so looking at it, the last copy I had before February 3rd was 11, so November 7th. Yep. And that still had the 8th and 35 days in it. Yep. So I don't, I don't know what transpired between then and February 3rd copy. Right. So do we want to go back and ask? Right. Well, I, I guess the question is, do we have time to go back and ask? Right. Right? Or did we just the warrant, change the, it? When's, the, when's yes, the warrant so officially say. closed up? Go back and ask. Personally, no. Just, just don't change it. March. Just put it back to where we March. had it and the, send the, it on well, down. The citizen's petition. Just, uh, That's what I would do. March. Right, 2nd of March. Me. 
Well, but let me let me ask another question because well, we don't have time. I, uh, don't about have time. Pa as a selectman, I'm asking you this, okay? In yeah, past years, have. even after the warrant has closed, okay, it has been opened and something added or changed and then closed. Yes, yes. and it, it it was closed per se, and a selectman chose to put something on after the closure date. Is that still? Is this, how how does this select board look at that? Let me. I can only speak for this selectman, and I disagree with it then, and I disagree with it still. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, okay. But it has been done. The warrant was open for citizen whatever it was open. It was voted on by the select board. It's closed yep. and done. It talked about it at a meeting, and between then and town meeting. Amazing. Something was changed or added. Or I think it was added. like two or th two or three warrant articles were added. And I disagreed with it then, and I still don't. I, I did too, but that's. It. But that has happened. Okay, so based off of the timing of our next meeting, if we don't make a change today, there will be no change. Uh, based off of when unless, the warrants and, unless a selectman chooses to take an oh. end up. Which so yeah, I, so I can't say. It would be impossible, but it's not necessarily something that's necessarily done, and it, it, it it's not necessarily something that's advisable to do. That after the warrant yep. is is open, to take end up putting additional warrants on. It's just so it's a it's a practice it? that you don't see. Just make a motion. Yeah. I'll make I'll make a motion. Okay, okay. Hang on. <laughs> I'll make the motion. Uh, I accept the the merger document that was given to us. And submitted by uh, our vice, uh, our chairman, with the following changes: on section 9.4, the date of April 8th, and not less than 35 days, be the, the only changes to the document to be submitted for the town warrant. Does that does that sound okay? Or? Is that right? The, okay. I, the, the, I, I think the, the only way that I would rephrase that is okay. I would call out explicitly what you are swapping out. So I, I would say that I'm accepting this as proposed with the exception in section 9.4 yep. of swapping out the date of April 10th for the date of April 8th okay. and swapping out the date or the, the number of days from 30 days to 35, 35 days. days. Just, I think that's a little bit more explicit. Yes, and I would second that. Okay. Okay. So. That, that, I, I agree with it. Okay. So Amendment, that. per se. Okay, so. As, as, <laughs> so as now, the now one I'm that issued, <laughs> as, as the, as the so one that. So we start again? As the one that ended up initiating the, the motion with, the, with, the, with those, with that in mind, yes, they can change the wording, per se. <laughs> the the poor, the poor you, scribe, the poor scribe <laughs> has got to take it in the I'll just watch it all on video, don't to worry. To help Deb out, Will would just amend his right. motion and then... I amend it to, to, to what the recommendations were. It is, okay. As a past mint maker, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do we do? <laughs> Been there, done that. Uh, so we have a second, yes. I guess, okay. Okay. All right, um, let's give Deb Seconded. another. Bob. Uh, it was Bob. I did. <laughs> okay, and the only other thing uh, for discussion is if the vice chairman would change that document that we received. Yep. Submit it to uh, the, the chairman yep. and for submission to the warrant and explain to him that the, the, the discussion, I'm sure you, yep. you can end up having a discussion with him. Yep. I will. Uh, okay. I will absolutely. Is do that. that okay? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't screw things up too bad, did I? No, I, I think that. <laughs> I think that makes sense. So, so we're good. Okay. Um, any other discussion then? Okay. On the motion, Bob. Yes. Amy. Yes. Deb. Yes. Will. Oh, absolutely yes. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, motion passes at seven forty-five. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for giving me the latitude. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's important. Okay. All right, so I'm going to change something now. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> Which is why I'm able to get all of it. She got it. I think so. I said motion to accept the merge document with the following changes in section 9.4. Change the date of April 10th to April 8th and change the number of 30 days to 35 days. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Good. All right. Excellent. You're hired. Yeah. <laughs> um, moving on. Old business. Yes. On the old business. Yep. After doing due consideration to our last meeting and our discussion about the harvest and IMA, mm -hmm. I thought of different versions. We got to think of this community has got to think outside of the box per se. I heard, yes, if, even if we didn't end up going with the IMA, we would probably have to increase the amount of hours for the assistant. Okay. All due respect, let's, let's, let's say that, that we do increase the hours. But if you end up getting out of the IMA, you have an accountant that you saved 7500 this year. Mm -hmm. Who knows if the, that will increase by the administrator for next year. And in 10 hours, by that individual, do we need to have uh, an assistant for a full time, maybe something more than part time, but less than full time. Because now we actually gain 10 hours, folks. You have to look at it as what's the gain out of here? Monetarily, there's a gain. Time wise, there's a gain. If we cut back on the individual and still keep the, the, the salaries at the same amount for that individual, hourly wise, that individual doesn't lose anything by hours, loses maybe 10, 15 hours, and that's not our, that's not our call per se. But that I would see that as, as a way to take an end up, because there's still a lot of objection to that document and, and, and supplementing some other community's budget. Mm -hmm. that if, if that's the case, then we're going about this all wrong. Let's farm the accountant's job out. Take a look at the salaries for both of them and, and the whole budget. Let's do the same thing that Hubberston did. Let's go find somebody to take an end up doing the accounting for the, the town. We save on the fact that we do not have to take an end up paying for re retirement. That's a big dollar amount per se. We could still have 100000 to 125000 and end up still keeping data and all the rest of the expenses and everything get farmed out. Other communities are doing that. I mean, that, those, those are just some thoughts. So my suggestion is that in revisiting the IMA for Hubbiston, that <coughs> from my perspective, <coughs> I'd like to see us get out of that and going in a different direction. I mean, we can't, we can't force that on, but we can make a recommendation to the select board to end up getting that, uh, that I am out of that IMA with some suggestions and saying, okay, we save here with this or that. I mean, those are my thoughts. I mean, I, I, I'm throwing that out for, for discussion because we, we initially, and I know Tony, I, I know Tony was very, very ver ver verbal about getting out of that. I don't. I can't speak for him after that meeting per se. Yeah. But I mean, those still. And he and I were in the same camp as we did as as as, sure. as individuals on on the uh, committee. Those those are my thoughts. Uh, it, I'm throwing that out now. See what everybody else thinks. I'll throw in two cents <laughs> over here. Okay. Um, because I always do. Come on, give me a nickel worth. Nickel's worth? Yeah. All right, I think we should do it a town-wide. Uh, you know, I, I think this, the, the idea of regionalization, you're talking about, you know, the accounting office or, or whatever, outsourcing that. You know, um, and this ties in with what I was, you know, going to bring up as, a, as old business. But, uh, um, you know, we have to reevaluate how we're doing things 
as a town, town and school, uh, you know, across the board. The, the school, right here, we got $497.97,728 is their latest um, not addition from last year. Um, but the thing that should really ring it for everybody is to increase our school budget $497,728. Templeton and Phillipston need to pay $539,283 to do that because the state's contribution went down. So, you know, the idea that, you know, I've heard the idea thrown out at the one of the last, you know, meetings about, you know, a new officer if we have no, you know, big hits or whatever. This is a big hit every year for the rest of its existence in this setup, period. This is with closing PMES, this number. Yeah. So this is half a million dollars with closing PMES. What happens next year? We don't have another school to close. Right. So are we looking at another 1.1? Because there's savings from PMES and the 500000 Um. So, you know, this, this idea that we can just keep, you know, going along as we have, um, you know, that we can have employees. I mean, I think, you know, like you brought up the, the uh, Hubbardston, I think we need to look at dispatch. I think we need to look at, you know, fire, police, all of them. Because just the employee expenses that we have yep. in this town are unsustainable. It's unsustainable. Hubbardston saw it cheaper for them to go out and get somebody else to do their work than if they ended up paying somebody. Absolutely. That's bottom line, folks. They, they, they're saving themselves a, a bunch of money in dispatch and also accounting. And who, who, is, who is paying the brunt of that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're nice that way. We like doing that. I mean, I'll go back to my other comment is all those other communities, we should go out and say, hey, we're, come on, you can freeload off for us. We'll supplement your budget. They already know it. They already know it. I mean, you, you know, I'm, you know, I have a hard time looking at a lot of the contracts and thinking anything else. Um, you know, that we're paying and we're paying. Oh, yeah, we're paying a little less than if we did it for this part, but we're paying over here and we're paying over here. So, you know, when you put it all together, like the even the, the animal patrol officer, you know, yeah, we got a deal. We're paying X amount per month. We're paying this. We're paying this. Yeah, and then we're paying for a truck, and we're paying for, you know. And, and you put it all together, and, yeah, we got an animal control department that we're just outsourcing in pieces. Yep. Um, you know, uh, it's what happens when you build islands. Yep. And that's what... Well, I... I I have uh, an individual that's that's uh, an accountant for a community north of us. That in the next couple of weeks I'll be talking with him uh, privately about what what type of salaries that he receives as he's a, he's a CPA and it's it's I won't mention the community I don't want to get him into trouble uh, but it's it, it is a well run community and they have this individual. Uh, as an accountant, per se, and I want to can see what type of salaries that a larger community pays mm -hmm. in respect to what we do, and kind of verse that as to what we're, what what is costing us versus them, and they're well run. Yep. What's the what's what's the what's the denominator here that will help us out with our finances and looking at them. Are they, what are they doing, per se, that they're doing so well? And they, they, but they, but they have a triple A one rating, the highest rating you can get. And that individual that is the administrator 
in past years has made proposals that the annual the, uh, uh, the Association of Town Finance mm -hmm. annual meetings, and I had some discussions with him a number of years ago, and that's a document that I brought up a couple of years ago. I, I, were you on, Bob, when I brought that up? It was, it, there was a document. <laughs> you're, you're asking a lot right now, Will. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Um. Uh, but I, I did bring it up because I had talked to him, and I, I looked at this document and went, oh, wow. That's really comprehensive, and we've got to take and do a better job. And they're rated as a, a top community. Right. I mean, this is not, you know, a, a community that's struggling per se. They, they, I'm sure that they've got some of the same problems we do as school, mm -hmm. et cetera. I don't. I, at this particular moment, I don't know if they've got a regional school or not. I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll state that. I, I don't know. I'd have to go take a look at that. And, and by the way, I will. You know I will. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's just a matter of me getting the time to, to take a look at that. So I bring that up ab about the IMA. The, 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 the <coughs> Do you want to take and end up having a motion to take and make a recommendation to the selectmen or, or not? I mean, I want to take and get, before I end up making a motion, I want to get the, the general feeling of the members as to what, 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 what you think. You guys got stiff necks or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I'll just say, I I, I think um, it was a lousy agreement. I mean, just point blank. Um, you know, there was some rationale um, for something to happen. Um, I just don't know if this was the best result or the easiest result. I'll, I'll um, put it out there. Okay. We're so, we were so the bill of goods, as, to, as it was described to us, is to verify why it was done that way. That's my feeling. I mean, I'll take the hit. He's, he's always criticized me anyway, and I've, I've been outspoken, and I don't mind. Oh. I don't mind being outspoken. I'll tell it like it is. It, it is. Other people think the same thing, and it's not just here, okay? No, and, and I will say one thing, that the idea of how this was presented differently twice right um, bothers me I don't like being let's say um, conned um, or whatever you want to use as a polite let, term let, let me let me on. go back to what I originally said on a long time ago spin doctor yeah there's there's two ways to look at that you can look at it positive you can look at it negative in this particular case I'll let everybody make up their own mind as to how they thought the spin was I didn't I didn't like the spin no that's that that's the one part that uh, out of the process that bothered me the most yeah um, you know because when he sat when the administrator sat here um, at our last meeting and was uh, you know explaining it out like I said at that meeting if that would have been the initial presentation I would have had much less of an issue. A lot more questions. Right, more questions, but I wouldn't have been like, this is stupid. Um, because there was other rationale around it. Whether you agree with the rationale or not is a whole other, yeah. you know. But uh, the way it was initially presented uh, was horrible. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think we could have done it. And the same results a lot better. And the backpedaling that we heard, I didn't like. Shouldn't happen. So if we were to ask the Board of Selectmen to It's a look recommendation. Into, right. It's to look only into a recommendation. It, what are their, like, what is the potential flow from there? So they look into it or they, they can choose not to. They right? can choose not to do Just anything. Got it, if they or... look into it and they find that but, they don't like it, then they could, they could withdraw from right, the agreement. Right. Okay. You, you may have some support there. I may not have some support. Mm -hmm. But when people look at what we look at as finances and we end up making a recommendation and it goes to the select board, they can end up judging whether they, they agree with their select board or not come election time. And that's just coming up. 
I mean, and, and, that's my thoughts. And, and I would personally say the reason that I would support the motion is because I don't think we can do these things in the future. I don't think this this methodology is acceptable for Templeton. Right. right. You know, and that, that's basically it. Whether or not this is so much, it, it was just, it's so muddled at this point in my head, I, I just don't even know, but I just don't like how it was done. Yeah. There's a lot more to go in. I, I don't want to get into this. A lot of other things into this whole thing that I would right. ra rather stay away from as far as us because it's a lot it's a lot of political stuff but we make recommendations and I think from that standpoint of making a recommendation that they can end up getting out of the IMA because it it's going to take six months a and we're coming up on the fact that it, they have to do it at, in in July to let them know six and, and we're, we're actually looking at maybe maybe by the end of the year we'll be out of it you if, making the motion Okay. Hold uh, on. You making the motion? <laughs> if there's consensus, I will make the motion. If this, if everybody feels that at least we can have a motion and 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 vote on it, I'd be very happy to make the motion. All right, I'll make it. I'll <laughs> I'll stick my neck out. I always do anyway, and, and Bob knows that anyway. I'll make a motion that we recommend to the select board as a recommendation to the select board that the IMA would Hubbiston uh, be terminated and that we get out of that. Is that is that wording all right or do we need do we need to to wordsmith that I think right at the terminated end of it. Terminated. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, second. Terminate terminate the IMA with uh, with Hubbiston. Is that better? Definitive. That was the motion. Okay. He seconded. And I seconded it. And it was a second by Bob. Any discussion? <laughs> Who's running that show? <laughs> Mr. Chairman, are you going to have a discussion? discussion and if uh, you need to vote, I vote yes. I guess my only question is, do we phrase it that way, or do we phrase it more as recommend that the Board of Selectmen investigate whether or not the IMA is beneficial to the town of Templeton, and if so found not to be, to terminate? I'm comfortable with that. I'm, uh, more, I'm more comfortable with that. That kind of gives it more, too much open-ended. It, But again, they can do anything that they want. No That's true. What. That's true. <laughs> this, this, the so, way I presented it was more definitive. It's you're, a you're absolutely correct, um, and I'm pulling back a little bit on that. Okay. Because at, at the end of the day, the, the results are going to be the same way one way or the other. Let me say this: on this particular motion, we can end up doing it. It does not preclude the vice chairman or anybody else to think and make a. A second motion if it gets turned down mm -hmm. to go that way. Okay. I, I, that's again. I'm only throwing that out <laughs> so they can help the help the vice chairman or chairman tonight to take it end up sure. proceeding. <coughs> Bob, you missed the discussion. <laughs> I did. Yeah. 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 Just a big surprise. Word smith it a little bit. Okay. More to basically make it a recommendation for the select board to investigate and if found to be not beneficial to the town to then terminate as opposed to simply just terminate. And I suggested that we could vote on this and if it gets passed, it gets passed. If it gets town down, then there's nothing stopping us from making that as a motion. Correct. And Which I, I know certain. The I know first one, the one that's <laughs> active on the floor. Yeah. And it, it, to my, the reason being is that at the end of the day, the select board is going to do what they feel is right to do. From a phrasing perspective, I don't know. I'm just pu trying to put myself on the other side of the, of the shoe as far as how I would perceive a motion to just terminate it versus giving them the authority to do their job, which is 
Yeah. It's a recommendation to terminate. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, all. But at, at the end of the day, though, in order for them to do that, yep. they really need to take a look at is it right. you know is it financially in the best interest yeah, and, to right. and may, again we we potentially could be missing something i don't think so but if we are that's if, their job is to make sure that yeah, the policies if, that are being passed are if they buy the if they buy the, the 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 goods that were presented to us at the last meeting we have no control over that and that's and, and from my perspective there's some members that were go, are going to buy the bill of goods no matter what is handed to them i'm, I'm sorry which at the end of the day makes the recommendation pretty much moot, but I still just personally feel more comfortable. Yeah. Okay, now please excuse me for yeah, yeah, no, um, please. But could you please like reiterate what the motion's going to be at this point? So the motion right now is to recommend to the select board that the IMA be terminated. Yeah. Period. Right. That Please. one I understand. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, that okay. That's it. That's it right now. Okay. So and I said I we can vote on it. That no. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Bob, I said we can vote on it. If it gets turned down, then we can end up having another motion. Right. As I said to Lee. I don't know if it's easier to. Can we just amend it? Yeah, well, I was just going to say I don't know. If it's just easier to. I, I have no idea. <laughs> you can amend it. That's another. That's another. Uh, Why don't we just of, vote and then do it again? I think it'll be a little cleaner. You can make a, a motion to amend it. That's acceptable. Okay. So it, is we need to is vote on the amended motion. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing now? <laughs> Talking procedure. Yeah, are we are we voting on the original motion or on the? There's there's no other motion. No right other now. motion. No, no motion other motion anything. Right no. So voting on the original, and I will vote yes. Amy. No. Deb. Will. Yes. And I vote no. Okay. So I'd like to make a motion to recommend to the select board that they investigate the IMA and if found to be not beneficial to the town to terminate it. Little wordsmithing. That's not Say Hubbardston IMA? Yeah, Hubbardston IMA. Is that a um, specific? Sorry. Yeah, Hubbardston IMA? Yeah. Yeah. Even though you didn't say it was, I yeah. understood. And if found to I would, may I ask a question? Please. I would um, like the amendment, if it could, to say Templeton taxpayers. Because the Templeton to me leaves it vague, whether it's Templeton Town Hall or Templeton people, taxpayers, or who to benefit. Just Templeton leaves it. Oh, if it's not beneficial to the Templeton taxpayers. Right. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that sounds. I will second that. Okay. Can I read it? <laughs> that addition. Sure, yeah. yeah. Right. Motion he, amend, he, he amended it to include taxpayers. <laughs> and it was seconded. Well, it hadn't been seconded <laughs> before that. It hadn't been seconded yet. Okay. Yeah. Please, Deb. I'm glad I'm not secretary. <laughs> Motion to recommend to the Board of Selectment that they investigate the IMA with Hubbardston. Hubbardston. And if found to not be beneficial to the town of Templeton taxpayers, then terminate yep. the IMA with Hepperston. Yep. That works for me. Yeah. Okay. And that is Lee. Again, slight, slight phrasing differences. Yeah. Or? No. Did someone second that? I did. Uh, Amy did, Amy yes. Did. Okay, very good. Okay. Any other discussion on this then? Okay, on the motion? Bob? Yes. Amy? Yes. Deb? Yes. Will? Yes. And yes. <laughs> motion passes <laughs> at uh, 8 10 p.m. Is the vice chairman going to take care of I, I, I would make a, a, a recommendation that the vice chairman send that at us and not put the, the chairman in position because he's not here to, sure. to, to vote per se. Yep. Uh, and to uh, send that copy, copying the rest of the advisory committee, uh, yep. advisory advisory committee as well as all the selectmen, and sent directly to the selectmen. Sure. This is this is from us to the selectmen and not to the administrator per se. Yeah. That's why I'm suggesting it that way. Yeah. Deb, can you do me a favor and just email me the the text? Yes. Yeah. Is is that appropriate, Mr. Mr. Chairman? I believe so. Okay, I'm just making that a suggestion. No, you're correct that. Tony was not part of this. He should not be. Right. 
So you're going to... But I'll, you know, I'll, okay. yeah, I'll I don't want to put him in a position where he, he did not have a vote uh, on mm -hmm. it to take that into account. No, understood. Yeah, I agree. All right, any other old business? I have one thing. Sure. So after watching the Board of Selectmen meeting on February 5th, and then again on February 12th, I'm noticing sort of a trend, and I just want to say as a person and as someone on this advisory committee, um, it's, a, it's a little disheartening for me. There has been mention brought up again about the request for transfer that we received at the end of January, and there was no one here to explain to us. We discussed as a group about the trainings based upon the recommendations made by the auditor. By the auditor. That was the word I couldn't think of. Yeah. I kept and thinking. He, he had done that last year too. Right. And at the meeting on the fifth, Kelly was the was at the table giving her presentation and apparently it was kind of like news to her that it wasn't approved and she asked why not and I felt like the comments were a little bit inappropriate from the town administrator. Um, That's not unusual. Well, it, it just was disheartening to me because at our meeting we had said, gee, we really aren't sure why this is coming up. This seems like it should have been planned ahead of time. I wish someone were here to tell us more if Kelly had come or the TA had come or anyone had come to help us understand why they were asking for this transfer. I felt like we would have made a more informed decision. And part of our job is to, to watch for things like this, to watch where the money goes yep. and to pay attention to budgetary asks and things that are falling outside of normal yep. realm. Because we didn't see it as unforeseen. Right, and this has been, like you said, it was in this year's audit report, but it was also in the one from last year. It wasn't brand new, and that was our understanding of it, and now, I feel like there's a dig to every little meeting. And every time it comes up, there's another dig. And I just want to say officially for the record that I don't appreciate it as a volunteer. I don't appreciate it as someone who's doing their best to make good decisions for this town. And um, it certainly doesn't promote a feeling of unity and community for what should be a system of checks and balances. We should all feel free to work together. We are here to make our recommendations and to talk about the things that we talk about to help the town as a whole. The Board of Selectmen is there to do the same. The town Administrator, all of the people that work for this town, they do great stuff. I'm not trying to imply in any way that no one's not working their best. We don't need to have snide comments. This isn't you know, grade school. I don't need to feel like I'm going to be on guard because of what someone else might drop a comment. It's inappropriate, and I just think, like, I'm sort of over it. So I just wanted to officially say in this forum that I hear it, and I don't like it. We're doing the best we can, and if, if transfers need to be made, people need to come. We don't know. We can't read minds, and we're not 100% sure where things are coming from. So show up. All I can say is welcome to the club. I have gotten my share of digs no no i don't feel like it was directed personally at no, me I'm, I'm, i feel like I'm, it was no. directed at us as right. a committee I, I, as a I whole understand that. and I, that's why i right. could take it if it were just me right. I, I, i'm offended for the group of us we're no. working as a unit we, we should all be offended for thinking getting any type of remarks such as that when we're trying to take end up doing a job as as volunteers to to take and do the best we can for the community and have the the, the community's interest in heart and not necessarily the administration's view of, of how things should go. Right. That's it. All right. Uh, anything else, old business? Thank you, Amy, for letting us know what you thought. Yep. I mean, I appreciate that. I don't know about the other members. Oh, I appreciate Absolutely. it. I agree with it, too. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, that we should take criticism? <laughs> I don't mind taking criticism, but I think it's oh, I'm all done. Yeah. What you uh, did very well. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Any new business? <sighs> I'm trying to think of 
think of which we have some new business. <coughs> I would have. The only other thing, and, and I, I, I hope the Vice Chairman, because uh, I know he's busy, is that we really need to, and, 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 and I know it's time constraint on your part, it's your, your job, is to get some of the policies I had brought this yeah. up. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'll do everything I can to help yeah, you yeah. Uh, uh, I know. in I, presenting I stuff you. here, but uh, we really, and, and I, I don't mean that as, as criticism, because no, 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 no. I, I know I know that you. Sure. Trust me, that's in the back of my mind all the time. I'm, I'm so sure maybe, it is. Maybe what you and I can do, um, if it's not against the rules, is maybe get together on a weekend day. It's not. It's not. It's not against it, or it's not allowed. It's not against it. Okay. And I mean, we're not. It's not a meeting. Just, uh, just again, just trying to make sure that everything yeah. is above board. But um, sit down, get the materials from you. We'll do it real time. Um, it'll take. It'll take a while, but that's uh, working on a project that we already have. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And it's, we're not setting up as a subcommittee. Yep. We have set it up as two individuals sharing information that's already been discussed yep. to put on a website. So we can even meet in public, <coughs> someplace, have appetizers, drinks. <laughs> but uh, I will follow up with you on that. We'll get that. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'll do whatever I can to, yeah, no. to help you out. And I, and I know this. Well, as, as I mentioned before, the, the problem is going to be um, when the time comes where I do move on and someone else has to pick up the ball, the system itself is not very conducive to what we're trying to do. It's not... We're, we're trying to do a basically a, a document management system and that's not what the website is so we can we can make it look like it but under the covers it's it's Frankenstein's monster of stitching things together I can explain to someone who comes on how it was done but unless we change the system altogether it's gonna be a challenge moving forward that's why we put it on some of the documentation that we did have on as in, in, in different areas because it was it was right out front it wasn't under nobody had to go looking for it yeah and that's that's what it's supposed to be <coughs> um, but everything is a, a one at a time uh, yeah okay so let, let, let's table this and for I'm, now and I'll and I'm, follow up and with I'm you. sure <coughs> gotten, I'm sure it's gotten better or ch let's put it this way I don't know about better but it's changed from the time that myself and Julie oh, I'm sure yeah. Julie Fair will try to do it it, it was we were stymied for the fact that we weren't allowed to take and do certain stuff because we weren't the administrator for yeah. the entire website yeah. and it had to be allowed yeah and no, the, it wasn't the, yeah the, the access is fine it's just the functionality of the website itself yeah. is yeah all right um, if no one objects let's move on to any additional member comments um, mr. May yeah um, I, I have a comment I was going to have a couple but I didn't get to print out what I wanted to so I don't have the other okay. um, but the one thing uh, that doesn't take any paperwork to um, bring up is our quarterly reports um, I'm personally getting really tired of the mix match that we get for the reports I mean this this month we didn't even get this this quarter we didn't even get a cash report you know, I mean, in the report pre presented here, there's no cash, no. no cash balances. That's the second or third time in the past couple of years that we've got a quarterly report with no cash. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, I don't think, and maybe I'm just a PIA, but that's who I am. But, you know, it, it shouldn't be too difficult when they put these things onto uh, a digital format to put them on in the same format each time. Under, under VADAR, okay, and I've talked to people that outside of this community about working with VADAR. It's a number of, once you set it up, it's all it is is a number of keystrokes. I think it's less, it's less than five keystrokes to take and end up getting it because it's date, it's date oriented and right, some other right. stuff and that's it. It's the same report. But it's, you know, it's, it's even it's even simpler than that. It's just the presentation. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Very easy. Yeah. 
No, the, the yep. I mean, it's it's good business <laughs> to have a a common common format for repeatable presentation. Yeah, absolutely, because that way you can very easily compare what was this versus that. Right. Well, that's and that that's my little you know pet peeve. It's Without my little thing because right. every time I go in there to look at everything, I got to spin this around three times, spin that around two times, yeah. spin this around six times. You know, yeah. it's like Jesus. No, I completely agree with um, that. But, we don't, uh, you we know, don't, it is an issue with not getting the cash um, in a quarterly report. Is and, to me. And, and, and we, right now, we're sitting, what, this is, the, this is the 20th. Do we have a report for January? Uh, a, B, a BVA? I'm not sure I recall. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is one of the things that when I, this is one of the things I brought up when we talked about the IMA last time is that you're going to end up having somebody 10 hours somewhere else and on the phone and we can't get our documentation. <clears throat> didn't, didn't we talk about then that we get it like by the 10th day of the month or something? Yes, by the 10th. Yeah, by the 10th day of the month. And, and this is a little, you know, a little bit beyond that. And again, that's, that's only keystrokes per yeah. se. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be reviewed by 4,000 people before it's sent out. It's, it, it is what it is. If we have questions, just answer them. This is not, this is not hard stuff. We shouldn't be trying. It should be transparent as as m to the ninth degree, to the ninth degree. And that's mm -hmm. that's my opinion. I'm in. I'm only one guy. <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> you got it. Yes, Jeff. Just to speak to that, Please. as someone who attended Vedar training, yep. and we got demonstrations on that once. You set up the table, the, your stuff, you just save it, and you literally just boom, 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 add to it, change it, update it. Yeah. You can put create files within within the system, put it over there. You, you can keep stuff, go back and look, old stuff. It's, uh, that's, that's what you have to work to change it, yeah. And <laughs> if you're, you're getting it printed out, it's not like somebody's mimeographing. It's right. done electronically, and then they print it out, and they pass it out I know. at Slackman's <laughs> meeting, paper copy, instead of getting it electronically. And it's, so, it's probably a five or ten minute, at, at best, to create it. If you're keeping the records, it should be right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, my feeling is the same. It's, there's no reason for it not to be available and not to be on the tent. Yep. And if the reason is a person is busy doing someone else's work, wouldn't be the first time in Templeton. Shared service. Or doing something not necessarily with within their belly wink. Right. Let me expand it to that. I, I hear what you're saying. Sure. Can we have Tony email to ask for the most recent BBA? We can. Yeah, we can end up uh, having the vice chairman because he's here. Or would I'm you missed. like to do it, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> I will. I know you will. Let's make it official. I, um, I make a motion to have Bob Hang May on. request <laughs> the most recent <laughs> BBA <Tim's not> ready. <laughs> for January. And that's the, ask why we haven't received it by the 10th. I'll second that. <laughs> I guess Thank that gets you, you off the hook and gets him on since he, he, he said okay. It's, well, uh, it's expected from him. I was just going to say, exactly with the letter right. that was going out tomorrow, just depending on how I'm writing it anyway. So. Exactly right. <laughs> do you want me to give you a template? <laughs> if you do, that, that would be beautiful, Deb. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Is there any discussion on the motion? All right. With that, Bob. Yes. Amy. Yes. Deb. Yes. Will. Yes. Good job, Bob. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll go with yes. So. <laughs> the template's got your name Motion in it already. Motion passes at eight right. twenty-six. <laughs> so this is one of the most recent BVA, and it is the official proofread. Uh, are there any other member comments? With that. Oh, well, I, I guess oh. it, this can be either way because we've got a next meeting here. Yep. Is that uh, this is an observation on the 26th, the 
selectmen will be looking at the budget. The budget docket will be available. I brought this up last time and I'm throwing it out again is to, we should be looking at that because we have a, a just a short period of time between then yep. and the March, the Saturday March, and to have some additional meetings and I'm throwing that out because it's not only me, I'm, I, I, I believe it or not, I, I have stuff in my, my life too, that sure. just like everybody else, oh but, yeah. I, but I think at this particular time, it behooves us to, to take an end up going one step and beyond is to try to get as many meetings as we can to take a look at the budget once we get it and to have additional meetings. So that I see the next meeting is the, your uh, agenda per se. Yep, um, correct. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how how everybody's feelings on that. I, I'm throwing that out. I'd like to see us have at least, at, be, before the that Saturday meeting, have at least five meetings. Five, five meetings before the Saturday. Yep. And the, the the that, and the reason I say that is that, the reason I say that is that if we say five meetings and we can do it in less, because now I don't want to end up trying to take it, end up going through the, have one meeting and go through the entire budget in one night. Mm -hmm. They can break it up into smaller segments so that we're we're here for a reasonable amount of time and not long periods of time. I don't want to see us go to 11, 12 o'clock at night. Right. I mean, I, I folks folks here work. I mean, and if you get too too late, it's past the old man's bed like bedtime. So, <laughs> well, I was going to say, and apps. I, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Drinks and apps. <laughs> I would hope that you know. Um, Let's say when we come here to meet, whenever we come here to meet after we get the budget, that we've been able to had some time to go through it on our own and come in with questions in place and not a necessarily going through, you know, each individual item there, right. um, you know, on the 500 and something page book. Right. Um, you know, I, I, cause I just, don't think time allows that but I, I do agree with you that we you know putting in extra meetings to discuss our questions in a public format rather than let's say through emails with the administrator and the, the you know back and forth and da 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 um, will probably be beneficial to the taxpayer um, you know so that they understand when it comes to town meeting um, what the process is I'd like to go into that Saturday meeting with the, the lion's share of any questions that we could end up cutting it, and I mean really cutting deep into it and taking a look, get answered from the from the department heads. Yeah, because that's when they'll be here. Yeah. That day. It's, it's their budget. It's, it's not anybody else's budget, per se. It's to take it and end up putting the questions to the department heads. Why do you have this? Can you give us a, a reason why you have this amount of money in the budget? So when is the select board getting the budget? 26th. 26th. Next week. So for us, the next possible meeting is the 27th, but I can, I can say personally for myself, there's no way I can do any serious digesting of that document. in Not one day. No, no I'm, I'm not suggesting that, Mr. Chairman. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right, so even, but even if we do that, it's going to be about the availability of space as well. Yeah. So the next scheduled one is the week after that, the fifth, mm -hmm. which would give us all a week to. Which I, I, I don't know. If that was the only agenda when, item that would give and, us. And if, if that Saturday yeah. meeting yes. is when? The fourteenth. The fourteenth. The fourteenth. So we. That gives us. Uh, well, it gives us a week with it to start. That gives us nine days to end up having a couple of meetings. Yep. Yeah, if we can get a so space. There's always room in, in here or. No, it's, it's booked. It's, it, uh, okay, but there's other rooms that you won't get taped, but you, you still could have meetings. That's probably what we'd have to do. Yeah, we'd have, to, well, and it, that's gonna be about what's the, like, Holly keeps that, so we'd have to find out from her. Because sure. so the, the planning, uh, the planning board meets here now, but they they actually had a meeting 
in one of the other rooms. And I think uh, the recreation up until recently was meeting in the accountant's office. Yeah, that, that was that little conference here, right? That there's a conference room in the accountant's office. Yeah, so well, why don't we for now say next meeting's the fifth, and then at that point, we should have all been able to, like Tony will have seen this and heard all this, and he can get with the right people to find out about availability for different nights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just, uh, this room or any other. Yeah, and then just start booking different nights and whoever can come. And, can and come just and just a quick look on here, but I mean, you know, the of course Mondays and Fridays. Right, wide open. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, but that's you know really it. In the tenth through the twelfth, they got two meetings at least per day. Mm -hmm. Mondays are open, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of having it the fifth, move move one meeting up to the to Monday, and then you can have a meeting on the fifth. So now we've got at least at least two meetings that we've at least looked at a portion of the budget in in, in one week, and maybe the next Monday. So you're saying like the second, the the March fifth, second, and yeah. the ninth. Second, ninth, and fifth. Uh, the, the fifth is our regular meeting. And at the fifth. Well, we need it, quorum, yeah? Yes. So I'm on board with it, but I know for a fact that I will be at some point during the week of the second, I'll be in New York City for a couple of days. I don't know when, though. For all I know, it could be on the 5th. I, I just got it going on. It, it is what it is. If we right. Need, I know. Mm. Well, that's what I'm saying. So we can throw those dates out there. We can ask Tony to get the space reserved. Right. And then, and then if we can get quorum, out. we can get quorum. If we can't, we'll have to just keep doing it on our own you and can, bring you our can still You can still have a discussion. Yeah. Even if you don't have a quorum, yeah. you can't vote on it. That's all. Oh, right. Yeah. But we wouldn't yeah. be voting on anything. Just yeah. so we're, you know, too, uh, the 4th is clear. If we're going to the 2nd, the 4th is wide open, too, which is a Wednesday. So, I mean, we just, you know. To squeeze in as many as we can, and if we can get it done in a period of time, I agree. And you, you still have to have some length of time that if we have questions, to throw it out to the department heads and get an answer back. Because I don't think we're going to get an answer quickly. And I think that this is, this is my opinion, based upon what I'm hearing, is that if we ask questions, some department heads are going to balk and they're going to go to the administrator and say, I can't make it. I can't get this done in a couple of days. It's going to have to take a, a four or five days or whatever. So that we're, we're up against that. But I mean, it should, be, it should be easy for them to answer. I mean, uh, I don't know. That's my feeling. If it's your budget, you should be able to take and answer the questions, if there is questions. Right now, not not seeing the budget, I I don't know if, how many questions or if we're going to have any questions. But we're going to have questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not me. On purpose, I'm going to have no questions. So what I'll do is I'll email Tony with two things, the edited version of the uh, bylaw, and I'll also propose to him the different dates that we've talked about and suggest that obviously the topic of the agenda will be yep. will be the budget. Okay. That sounds does that sound we'll get consensus on that? Or? Yeah, I, yep. I think so. I'm open to what I can make. Yeah, yeah. I, same thing. I'm, I'll yeah. make what I can make. Yep. All right, and with that, uh, that brings us to the end of the agenda items. Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Yes. So move. <laughs> <laughs> All those, I'll in second. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 All those aye, against? Aye. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>